Today we're talking about Bubba Wallace. We went from Juicy Smolye to Nusi Wale. Here we go. Woohoo! Hey boys and girls, it's me, Kayvon, the most famous half Persian comedian in the world. I come from an immigrant family and we love the USA. Yes, both are possible. Oh, so proud Today we're gonna talk about the fake news media, NASCAR and Bubba Wallace. If you don't know, Bubba Wallace is a very rich, young NASCAR driver. He's 26 years old. He took advantage of the diversity driving program. He was brought on by Richard Petty's driving team and he's very successful. But that does not stop him from feeling like a victim. Race car driver, rich. Now in what other country can a young man, 26 years old, be a race car driver making a couple million dollars a year? You can count them on one hand. Bubba Wallace also makes news because he is a minority driver. Now they keep saying he's black, but he's half black, like the commercial. Half black? And as the half Persian comedian, who better to have a conversation? It seems fair. Over the last few weeks, Bubba has made a lot of news. He's politicized his sport. He's entered it, he's done well. He wanted to get rid of the Confederate flag, which they did. I have no dog in that fight. Some people liked it, some people didn't. I have always heard that the Confederate flag is for sure racist, but then I looked it up and there are a lot of African Americans who also like the flag but I'm staying out of that one. Not my business, don't wanna to touch it. I'm here to talk about something else. More recently, some of you were shocked and scared when Bubba Wallace and his team alerted the press that somebody had left a noose in his garage as a warning to him. And there was no need to question it. There was no need to wait for further information because as I just told you, there was a rope hanging in Bubba Wallace's garage. Need I say more? Run it up the flagpole and let's tell CNN right away. Now right away this seemed odd to some people because after all, NASCARs and their equipment are worth millions, okay? This is a corporation's property. This isn't like your garage where you got your beat up Jeep Grand Cherokee next to your blue huffy bicycle with a banana seat. This is the real deal. That didn't stop the media however because if you didn't believe the story, then you were close minded. And once again, it was decided prematurely that NASCAR fans across the world were, of course, racist. After an emotional race where Bubba finished 14th place, everybody hugged him, they congratulated him, they patted him on the back, they walked with him, friends, fans, teammates, and competitors consoling Bubba for what he'd gone through. It sure didn't look like anybody was racist. It looked like there was nobody racist. But obviously, somebody was racist because as I told you, there was a rope hanging in a garage. Duh. And more articles were written. Because after all, it wasn't just NASCAR fans that were racist. And it wasn't America that was racist. Indeed, all of us were the racists. Except for one thing. Nobody was racist. As has happened all too often with these high profile cases, this was all Fake. You can go ahead and add Bubba Wallace's name to the list as the newest Jussie Smollett, who is also Black. Now, what was this racist rope that had been left in Bubba Wallace's garage? Well, I'll tell you, it was a pull rope to open and close the garage door. That's right, any man that's ever been in the garage knows you can pull a rope and open it and pull it and bring it down. Women. A lot of you know that too. Children, senior citizens, people from other countries, visitors from outer space. If you've ever seen a garage, a lot of garages have these little nooses. They're called ropes used to open and shut them. Maybe he shouldn't have jump roped to conclusions. <laughs> this came out after an FBI investigation and people are already backpedaling. People are saying, well, Bubba actually didn't even report the rope. It was his teammates. Well. Bubba's team started from the bottom and took it here. Bubba's team started from the bottom, now his whole team's here. We started from the bottom. Bubba's job is to verify what his team is telling him and see if there's any other explanation before running it up the flagpole and coming to the worst possible conclusion, we're all racist. What's really disturbing is how many people wanted this to be true. They wanted this to be true so bad. They wanted to live in a world where there is a racist on the loose leaving nooses in half black race car drivers garages. Half black? And when they found out it wasn't true, they were pissed. Damn! But what about the racists? To summarize, they're upset that there is not a racist because they want there to be a racist so bad. 
And we know who these people are. In my last comedy special, Wrist Out, I pointed out that these are social justice pioneers. They are on the lookout for racism anywhere they can find it. They're pioneers, they're prospecting for racism. They might find it in your breakfast cereal or in the syrup you pour on your pancakes, but they'll find it, they're on the lookout. And why is it so important for them to find? Well, because there's gold in them there hills. Yeehaw! Being woke is now big business. You can get a $50 million sponsorship from a company like Nike. Now, here's the question I have. Imagine had the FBI not gotten to the bottom of this. Do you think Bubba Wallace would have just shrugged it off and gone back to work? I don't think so. Get ready for the race baiting. Gentlemen, start your engine. He would have made this his platform for the next decade. He would have written books, written articles, been interviewed by CNN, MSNBC, Huffington Post, and the New York Post. He'd be doing wall-to-wall -wall coverage with Oprah. It would be a Netflix documentary, The Day the Rope Was Hung. And he would never let America forget that there was a rope in his garage. Now, what is wrong with our multimillionaire youth like Jussie Smollett's, LeBron James, Bubba Wallace? Why are they so keen on being victims? Is it because they're so wealthy that they need to punch that victim card? Feel more in touch with the rest of humanity? I can hear the people now, but Kayvon, real racism exists. Then why don't we wait for those real examples before we always jump to outrage? Maybe there's other explanations before we land on racism. Maybe that should be our final assumption instead of our first. Now, I agree with you, racism does exist, and I believe what Bubba did was an act of racism. Think about it. We all assume that a guy in a cowboy hat is a big racist. That's stereotyping. And we all assume that NASCAR fans, they're the most racist of all. I've seen that all over social media. It's spouted off so often, it doesn't even sound weird to your ears. This reminder, this very stunning, shocking, appalling, disgusting reminder of who, again, this sport is for, um, I'm very curious as to see how NASCAR handles this. This had to be an inside job. Let me tell you about the average NASCAR fan. It's not the only thing they do. They also watch NFL football. They cheer for their favorite team. They watch Tiger Woods and they cheer when he wins. They loved Michael Jordan when he played. They still support LeBron when he slam dunks. And even better, they couldn't wait to watch Mike Tyson knock out whoever stood in his way. So when you look at a whole group of people that just look white and redneck to you, and you think you know how they think, who's the racist now? Mm hmm It's you. If you thought that w it was a hypothetical question, but the answer would be you. Like if you're leaving a negative comment for me right now, it's you. Now, are we getting any sort of apology from Bubba Wallace? Well, he just went on Don Lemon's show. Take a look. I'm uh, I'm pissed. Unfortunate that everything played out the way it did. All he had to say was, wow, I'm so relieved. False alarm, guys. I love you, NASCAR. Let's go win this next race. He can't do it. He is married to that narrative. Any Appreciate last it. words? You good? You said everything you want to say? Yeah, I'm pissed. So if we're going to be like Bubba Wallace and everything is racist, I've also made a list of things we should keep from Bubba so he doesn't get confused. Licorice rope, nerd rope, fruit by the foot, dental floss, and sausage. All jokes aside, I'm actually scared of the consequences had we not figured this out to be a hoax. I think NASCAR fans would have been under attack. They would have been mocked, heckled, pushed around, physically assaulted, looted, rioted, maybe even murdered. We've seen it happening across the nation. It's not like this stuff is impossible. We see virtue signalers and the mob ready to do this now because they are doing it now coast to coast. So based on that, I believe the Bubba hoax, without the apology, is indeed racist itself and could have led us to a race war in a time of heightened racial sensitivity. Me personally, I love knowing that I live in a world that a rope hanging from a garage can be best described as the way to lift and lower the garage. The only downside is next time the Bubbas and the Jussies of the world might get a little bit smarter and might be able to cover their tracks enough that we don't get to the bottom of it, leading us to a race war that so many people in this nation think we already deserve to have. So what can I say? This story actually has a happy ending if you're willing to let it have one, but as you can see from the comments below, people are already tearing me down for breaking it down. So all I can say is, truth hurts. Argue amongst yourselves, I'm out of here.